First up today is this little thing. This is the $15 ticket I got the other day. I uh, got a call today and talked to them, and I was just like, hey, they were installing the sign when I got this, and the manager was like, oh, okay, we'll throw that in the room. Good. The next thing on the agenda today was to get a uh, new one of these cables for my iPod in the car, because uh, it is completely shorted, and there's like no audio coming out anymore, which is sad. And actually, it's been like that for like six months, but I've been like pushing forward and trying to make it make do, but uh, I had to get a new one. I get a monster because uh, they're supposed to be a really good brand. If it's not, well, I guess I'll know shortly. Ian is in the store, so we're gonna scare him. Oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, buddy. I about had a hey. heart attack, man. What's up? <laughs> he, he's not amused. You gotta shake his hand, Dan. You wanna shake my hand? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Did we frighten you? Yes, yeah, scared the piss out of me, man. <laughs> Hello, little Jacoby and Bonner. Man, you've gotten big. I don't think he's been, he hasn't been shown in a while. Yeah, well, the last, last time, time last time he was, like, being held in arms and stuff. Nah, he's, he's getting too heavy, man. <laughs> he's not too happy. He got shots today, so he's pretty, he's pretty ticked about that. Oh. Yeah, he stuck me. I don't like shots either. Shake his hand, Dan. Or that. Oh, see? There you go. You're turning into a regular politician. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that kid has grown up. Like, seriously. That kid, the last time he was on the vlog, he was just a little itty bitty baby being held in Dan's arms. In my arms, but I don't know if we showed that. Anyway, that was nice. It was nice to run into them and, and see the see Jacob, because I haven't, I haven't seen him since he was such a little, little tyke. Anyway, today we're going to be meeting Tira Masuki. Tira Masuki is a subscriber to the vlog. She's been watching for quite a long time. Uh, I believe maybe even since the beginning. She was a big fan of Nintendo Speaks back in the day. Her name is Chelsea, and her and her family are on their way to Florida, and they came through Savannah, and we decided we were going to get dinner. The only downside is that the place that we're meeting was not in my GPS, so I tried to put it in my iPod Touch, and my iPod Touch is apparently wonky, or Google Maps is wonky, and uh, led me astray. I think now I'm, I'm going the right way, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'm already a little late. I'm, I'm working on getting there, you know, as soon as I can, but uh, I'm, I would be lying if I said it wasn't lost. But soon, I'll be meeting uh, someone else from the internet. And just like less than two weeks ago, I, I met uh, Paul, and actually on Monday I'm meeting someone else. So it's been a really busy quarter for meeting people from the internet. And uh, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. All right, I made it, and this is the wrong one. I was already really late, which I felt awful about. I actually had to call her at one point and be like, hey, I'm really late and we'll be a little later because I had a hard time finding this place. But I found this place, and I went in, and it became very clear quickly that she was not here. So, uh, yeah, I, I went to the wrong the wrong one. There was definitely some mis misunderstanding about where she was at. See, the problem was she said that she was at the Ruby Tuesday right off of uh, I-95, and... Um, this one is, but apparently Alex said that there's a few that are, so my fault, but, um, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of messed that up. I know I terribly inconvenienced their entire family, but they said that after dinner we would just get dessert, and that was fine with me. We're actually going to be coming here to Monkey Love Dessert Bar and Gallery, and I think it's actually interesting because Monkey Love, or Monkey's Love, is an item in Earthbound which would be fairly appropriate because, um, I guess you could say that, that we met through Earthbound, although I meet most people through Earthbound, at least the people I meet online. And since she's a big fan of Nintendo Speaks and the Mother Series in general, I guess you could argue that. Anyway, it's really cool. I've never, um, I've never been over to this section of, uh, of Pooler slash Savannah. They have, they're kind of the same place, almost, sort of. Long story short, I now know where I'm at, and we're going to meet for dessert. So, things have been made right. Finally. Okay, after what was a nightmare of a trip, I got here. I'm here, and I'm with everybody. So we're Chelsea, <laughs> and Sean, hey. Jason, Mark, What's going on? Brenda, and John. I remembered everyone's name, correct? Yes. Yeah, awesome. Good. So we're having ourselves a good old talk in the monkey love, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just glad to be here. You guys want to say anything? It's, it's a good chance. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Bring back Nintendo. Yeah. Oh God. Launch that. <laughs> We're going to be here with you. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan's a hot actress. <laughs> Things that will go down in infamy. Okay. <laughs> well, we just finished up. Um, they uh, they're on their way back to the hotel. They have to get up uh, early in the morning because they're going to head to Orlando, as I said before. And uh, I think they're actually going to a park tomorrow. They're going to Animal Kingdom. I was going to say Animal Planet, but that's like a TV channel, so I guess it's not Animal Planet. Really wonderful group of people. Uh, really nice to meet Chelsea. I talked to her uh, a pretty good bit, and she's always talked a lot about Sean. So it was nice to finally meet Sean, and I, you know, actually got to meet her entire family. So. It was nice. It was a little different because I've uh, I've met a lot of people online, but I've never actually met like their entire family at one time. So it was different, but it was fun and really really great group of people. Actually, you guys are probably watching this at some point. So if you are, it was very nice to meet all of you, and I hope you guys have a very safe trip to Orlando tomorrow. And with all that being said, it's time to return to the dorm. Hopefully, the uh, the place hasn't fallen apart since I've been gone. Actually, one of the things we talked a lot about whenever I was there talking to Chelsea and the rest of her family was Ninten. Uh, she was a pretty big, or I guess still is, a pretty big Ninten Speaks fan, and I want everyone to know that that's not cancelled. I mean, it's not in production by any means, but it's not cancelled. I really like Ninten, and uh, I, I would like to do more with him in the future. And one of the main reasons that I stopped doing Ninten Speaks was the production process with the camera I was using. I was using the HV20 and it's tape-based, and in order to actually uh, make an episode of Nintend Speaks, obviously you have to start by filming it, but then you have to uh, capture it, and then you have to convert it, and it's it's actually a pretty lengthy process. And if I was going to do more Nintend Speaks, I'd be using the T2i, which is Mallory's camera. So this summer, there's a high possibility that I could at least do a few more. So don't count Nintend out just yet. He might be coming back. Might be. Because it totally slipped my mind to do a Nintendo impression when I was with Chelsea and Sean and the rest of her family, I figured I would let you know that it was nice meeting you, Chelsea and Sean and the rest of your wonderful family. I hope you have a pleasant drive tomorrow and you make it safely to Orlando. Because that's where, like, they have rides and stuff. As always, thanks for watching and, uh, let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we? What? Oh, thank you. <sighs> what was I gonna say? You smell something? <laughs> what? You okay or you you smell a hamster? <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, that's a bottle. That's good. That's good that you you did that. Do you need something or do you need a you need a friend? If you see a poltergeist? You wanna build an Eskimo's igloo? Would you like to adopt a fish? Have you ever had salmonella?